All right, welcome back to another Yaya Tabletop Baseball game. Uh, my name is Brian Hafferkamp, and I'm the designer of Yaya Baseball. Uh, in this game, we're going to be facing the Kansas City Royals at the Detroit Tigers. Now, this is from 1995. Uh, so the 95 Royals at the 95 Tigers. And this game was actually played on July the 8th, 1995. Uh, we have our starting lineups all set. Uh, a couple of <clears throat> modifications here based off of their real stats. So Gary Gaetti gets a power uh, designation. So he hit 30 or more home runs that year. He also has a glove designation. So a good um, a good defensive player as well. And then David Howard, the shortstop. So what the glove means is that it will take a four of a kind for them to make an error on a play. Uh, so the left side of the infield is pretty locked down and solid. <clears throat> Uh, for the Tigers, it'll be Travis Fryman at third base, who has the glove, and Cecil Fielder, uh, obviously, with a lot of power and hit more than 30 home runs, but the only player to have any designation <clears throat> on the batting side uh, for each team. So it should be a pretty straight-up game. Our starter is going to be Mark Kubiza from Kansas City and Mike Moore. for Detroit, and neither of them are money pitchers. They're both uh, FIP, somewhere in the fours. So uh, that's where we'll be with that. So let's go through the starting lineups for Kansas City. It's going to be the speedster, Vince Coleman in left, Tom Goodwin, uh, center fielder, Keith Lockhart hitting third at second base, Wally Joyner at first base, Gary Gaetti hitting fifth. <clears throat> Bob Hamlin, it'll be the DH, Joe Nunnally in right, David Howard at short, and Brett Main is catching. <coughs> uh, Chad Curtis for the Tigers leads off, Scott Fletcher at second, Travis Fryman at third, Cecil Fielder at first, uh, Kurt Gibson will be DHing, Bobby Higginson in left field, Chris Gomez at short, John Flaherty catching, and Danny Bautista is in right field again. Mark Gubas is starting for Kansas City, and Mike Moore starting for the Detroit Tigers. So this is uh, version 3 of Yaya Tabletop Baseball, and so I'll be playing uh, with the uh, special modifiers. Also, <clears throat> um, I don't think any of the pitchers, uh, well, at least the starters, are not going to have the access to the cancel die, but we will be using that for uh, base running plays and uh, different types of plays in the field. <clears throat> so let's get going. It's going to be Vince Coleman, Tom Goodwin, and Keith Lockhart, and they'll be facing off against Detroit's Mike Moore here in the first inning. The first roll. And not much there, so that's a 22-23. 23 is going to be a walk, so we'll lead off walk to Vince Coleman. <clears throat> Obviously, we're going to try to steal with Coleman. Requires a two of a kind. Uh, well, two, three, four, five, six. On a steal, a large straight is an error on the throw. And so we're going to advance one base, so a stolen base with an error. So... Two, three, four, five, six. So that's a big roll. So Vince Coleman now at third base on the throwing error, say E2. And uh, Tom Goodwin at the plate, nobody on, or uh, nobody out and a man at third base. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. For someone with no designation, is going to be a strikeout. So that's a big out number one for Mike Moore. And it's going to be Keith Lockhart to the plate. <clears throat> Three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six is going to be another strikeout. So two big outs with a runner at third base and Wally Joyner coming up to the plates. Two, three, four, six. So nothing there. That's going to be 7, 9, <clears throat> 11, 17. 17 will be a grounder to the second baseman. 
there it's our third baseman that has this special designation so a grounder to second is going to get more out of the inning and so after a leadoff uh, walk and then a stolen base with an, a catcher's error Vince Coleman at third base get three outs in the inning <clears throat> so down go the Royals in the first uh, no runs on no hits and one left on. We head to the bottom of the first inning. It'd be Chad Curtis, Scott Fletcher, and Travis Fryman against Mark Gubaza. <clears throat> Two, three, so nothing there. 12, uh, 17 plus 5 is 22. 22 is going to be a strikeout. So Chad Curtis goes down. Center fielder for uh, Detroit. Up next, Scott Fletcher with one out and nobody on. So, again, not much there. So, 11, 12 plus 3 is 15. And that'll be a fly ball to the center fielder. And no error on the play. So, F8 on the put out. <coughs> Excuse me, as Goodwin uh, puts that away for out number 2. Uh, four, five, six, so nothing there. So six, 12, plus 10 is 22. And that's another strikeout for Mark Gubaza as he has a good one, two, three inning. So down goes Detroit, no runs, no hits, <clears throat> no errors, no left on. And we head to the top of the second inning. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> it's going to be Gaetti, Hamlin, and Joe Nunnally. So that's 12, 15, Plus 7 is 22. Another strikeout or more. And Bob Hamlin stands in. And Hamlin is going to get not much here. So 11, 14, 15, plus 6 is 21. And another strikeout. So K's are coming hot and heavy in this game. <clears throat> and we head to uh, Joe Nunnally. Joe Nunnally stands in with nobody on and two outs. So one, two, three, nothing here. Three, five, eight plus four, or 16 is 14. Eight plus six is 14. <clears throat> that's a fly ball to left field. And that's actually going to be an error on the play on the left fielder. So Joe Nunnally gets on via the E7 as Higginson gets there, but the ball pops out of his glove. And I'm going to credit him with an error. So one on and two outs, and this will be David Howard, the shortstop for the Royals. So there's a three of a kind right here, and uh, no, <clears throat> no money pitcher, so no opportunity here to stop anything. So three fours is going to be a single with an error check, <clears throat> and no error on the play, so that's a base hit for David Howard. Runner goes to second base, and that brings up the catcher, Brett Main, uh, the number nine hitter for the Royals. Does he have a big hit in him? Four, five, six. Doesn't look like it. That's going to be 11, 17, 21, 23. 23 is actually going to be a walk, so he does get on base. <clears throat> Brett Main walks, and that's going to load the bases. The base is loaded for the speedster Vince Coleman. He walked and stole a base in his first at bat. There is three fours, and that's going to be a base hit. So that's a single with an error check. So let's go ahead and give him the single. And let's check the error in the field. No error on the play. And so that's going to be an RBI single for Vince Coleman. And we're going to try to score Howard from second. And so let's see what happens there. We just need a two of a kind, but we get a full house. So taking extra base, we get a full house. The throw gets away. The lead runner advances uh, one base. So I think that just is going to mean in this situation that he scores. And the player at who's trailing is going to just hold. Okay. <clears throat> We're interpreting that just a little bit. Okay, 
So two RBI single for Vince Coleman and the Royals take a 2-0 lead in the top of the second. Brings up Tom Goodwin to the plate. There's three sixes, and that's going to be a walk. So Moore, after having a decent first inning, is really struggling here, and that's going to load the bases once again. So let's get our bases set, and it's Keith Lockhart to the plate. Lockhart with nothing here, so that's going to be 7, 9, 10, 14. 14 is going to be a fly ball to left field. And no error on the play. So that's going to be a fly to the left fielder. That's Bobby Higginson, and he makes the play this time. Uh, as that is the third out of the inning. But the Royals do get two runs on two hits and they leave the bases loaded. So we head to the bottom of the second inning. It'll be Cecil Fielder, Kurt Gibson, and Bobby Gibson against Mark Gubaza. So three, four, five, but that's not enough. So 10, 17, 18 is going to be a grounder to the shortstop. Now a shortstop is a good glove man, so it's going to take a four of a kind for an error there. So it's going to be a six, three on the put out, out number one against Fielder. Kurt Gibson stands in. <clears throat> and we have three fours. Three fours is going to be good enough for a single. And we need to do an error check. And no error on the play. So it's going to be a single for Kurt Gibson. And Bobby Higginson, Bobby Higginson stands in. He's the left fielder for Detroit. So two, four, five, six. So that's 10, 14, 19. 19 is a grounder to the third baseman. Let's do a double play check since there's one out and a force situation a second. Uh, all we need is a pair for a double play, and we get it here. So it's going to be 5, 4, 3. So we'll go fielder's choice. And that's a 5, 4, 3. Out number 2, out number 3. So Bobby Higginson grounds into the inning-ending 5-4-3, and the Tigers go down in the second inning. No runs on one hit and no one left on, and we head to the top of the third inning. It will be uh, Wally Joyner leading off against Mike Moore. There's three fives from Joyner. Three fives is going to be a single. If there were any runners on base, they would have been able to advance one extra base. So a runner at first, Gary Gaetti to the plate. Gaiety is a power guy, so I'll just keep an eye on that. Uh, three, four, nothing there. Almost a full house. So 12 plus 6 is 18, plus 4 is 22, and that's a strikeout. <clears throat> and that is Gaiety's second strikeout of the day. Bob Hamlin, also a victim of the K, he stands in. Got twos and ones. This looks like it might be an error, so 5, 7, eight, nine, and that will be an error. That's the second error of the game for Detroit. And Joyner will move up on the E, so runners at first and second with one out, and Joe Nunnally stands at the plate. Four, five, six, uh, so that's 10, <clears throat> plus eight is 18, and that's a ground ball to shortstop. So let's roll for the double play here second and we do get a pair get two pairs uh, we get two pairs so that's going to be a double play and I believe that was uh, six to four to three so three outs and an ending ending double play that is no runs on one hit for the Royals, they leave two, or they leave one, I guess, uh, on base. And that's going to bring up um, Detroit in the bottom of the third. It'll be Jimenez, or Gomez, not Jimenez. Chris Gomez, John Flaherty, and Danny Bautista against Mark Gubaza. Uh, nothing going on here. So 10 plus 9 is 19. And that's a grounder to the third baseman. And that's Gaetti up with it and over to first, and that will be out number one. So one out 
Uh, it's 2 nothing Royals in the bottom of the third. Uh, one out with John Flaherty, the catcher for Detroit. Flaherty gets himself a base hit right up the middle. So he stayed back on the ball nicely. And Danny Bautista is at the plate. One on and one out. And there's going to be another single. A little seeing eye single. 12 hopper right up the middle. <clears throat> Pushes the runner to second base. And we have two on with Chad Curtis coming to the plate. He struck out in his first at bat. That's a one, two, three, four, and a five. As Chad Hurt Curtis gets hold of a Mark Gubas of fastball. And that's going to be a three-run jack. And all of a sudden, the Detroit Tigers are out in front with a Chad Curtis home run in the third inning. So coming in to score is Flaherty. Our Flaherty and Bautista. And just like that, lightning strikes. Chad Curtis with the three-run home run with one out in the bottom of the third. And the Tigers take the lead. It is Scott Fletcher to the plate and bases cleared and one out. So this is 11, 17, 18. 18 is going to be a grounder to the shortstop. And again, it's going to take a four of a kind, which we don't get. So that's going to be a 6-3 on the putout. Uh, that's actually out number two. So two down and Travis Fryman to the plate. Ryman uh, doesn't have anything here, so that's 12, 15, 20. <clears throat> 20 was me a ground ball to the first baseman, and the first baseman joiner uh, will make the play. So he takes it to the bag himself for out number three. Uh, but Detroit comes back with a three spot in the bottom of the third on a home run from Chad Curtis. So 3 2 is our uh, game right now. It's going to be Howard Pitt, Maine, and Coleman in the fourth inning against Mike Moore. Uh, one, two, three, four is going to be a strikeout. Howard now one for two on the day, and that's out number one in the inning. Brett Main stands in as the he is the catcher, and that's going to be a four of a kind. Four threes is going to be a double to right field as he knocks it over the right fielder's head it one hops the wall and Brett Main is in safely at second base so runner is second with Vince Coleman to the plate Coleman's one for one he does have a stolen base on the day so nothing here so 10 plus 7 is 17 17 will be a grounder to second base and check for an error no error on the play so we're going to go to first and get the runner <coughs> uh, the batter and that's going to be a runner at third a runner moves to third on the fielder's choice so two down runner at third base and tom goodwin to the plates <coughs> and this could be big trouble two three four five six and tom goodwin the center fielder with a little punch as he gives the Royals the lead back with a two-run jack. That's going to score Brett Main, the catcher, from third. And that will be a two-run home run for Tom Goodwin as um, the Royals take a 4-3 lead. We are in the top of the fourth inning, 4-3 Royals, and Keith Lockhart to the plate. He's 0-2. And yeah, he gets a hit. So that's going to be a single with an error check. So let's check the error. No error on the play. So base knock for Keith Lockhart. Brings up Wally Joyner. Joyner with a hit. So that's going to be a ball laced into center field. Lockhart will stop at second base. And that's two on with Gary Gaetti to the plate. Gary Gaetti with the power number. Um, but he's not going to be able to use it here as there's almost a full house, but so that's 18 plus five is 23. 23 is going to be a walk though, as Gaetti gets off the strikeout train and takes a walk instead. So bases are loaded now, and this inning has gone sideways 
for Moore. <clears throat> Moore, who's already given up uh, four runs, has the bases loaded, and Bob Hamlin standing in. And this is going to be super big trouble. One, two, three, four, and five. And Bob Hamlin rises up and goes deep. And that's going to be a grand slam for the Royals. As Hamlin goes deep off of Moore. And that's going to score Lockhart from third. It's going to score Joyner from second. It's going to score Hamlin, or Gaetti, sorry, from first. So that's going to be... A huge blow. <clears throat> and that's going to be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six runs in the inning. Still only two outs. And Joe Nunnally, Nunnally comes to the plate. And that'll be 12 plus 4 is 16 plus 3 is 19. That's a grounder to the third baseman. Uh, no error on the play. So we go 5-3 on the put out. That's the third out of the inning, but the Royals bat around. They bring in six, and they're now up 8-3 to three in this game. So big swing of the bat. You can tell, you know, the pitchers don't get a chance <laughs> to blow up the home runs. They do come. <laughs> and speaking of power... Cecil Fielder has an opportunity here, and it'll be uh, Fielder, Gibson, and Higginson for the Royals. I mean the uh, Tigers. The Tigers got three in the last inning, so let's see what they do. We got <clears throat> a full house here. It's going to be fours over fives. Fours over fives is going to be a double to right center field. So Cecil Fielder goes the other way, and he splits the gap. And he'll be at second base with nobody out. Kirk Gibson to the plate. Gibson with a single in his last at bat. Uh, he just misses here. So that's going to be 22 plus 3 is 25. 25 is going to be a hit by pitch. So Gibson standing out over the plate. Gets plunked. And that's going to be runners at first and second. Uh, Bobby Higginson to the plate. He's grounded into a double play his last time at bat. And that's going to be 10. 21, no double play this time, but he does strike out for out number one. Runners at first and second, one out with Chris Gomez, the shortstop. One, two, three, five, six, that's not, so 11 uh, plus six is 17. 17 is going to be a grounder to second base, so let's roll for the double play since we got one out in a four situation. Um, we get a three of a kind on a double play. And that's not going to net the double play. That's going to be a fielder's choice. So only of a two of a two of a kind or a four of a kind is going to get you something on the double play. So a runner moves to third on the fielder's choice. We have a run out at. <clears throat> we have a runner out at second base, and I believe this was a four six on the put out. So. Two down and two on. Runners on the corners with John Flaherty to the plate. He hit a single in his last at bat. Almost gets the big hit here. So that's 12, 14, 16. 16 is a fly ball to the right fielder. Fly ball to the right fielder is caught. And that will be the final out of the inning. So Detroit threatens but can't bring home any runners. And so they get no runs on to one hit and they strand two runners on base we head to the top of the fifth inning still david howard uh, uh, i'm sorry david howard will lead off the inning he led off the last inning so a lot of activity in this game for kansas city and they do have eight runs to show for it um that's me 10 Plus 11 is 21. 21 is going to be a strikeout. So Howard strikes out for his second time. Uh, brings up Brett Main. Brett Main this time looks like he won't get much. 10, 15, plus 3 is 18. 18 is a grounder to the shortstop. And that's going to be a play made. 
So two down in the inning, and we go back to the top of the order of Vince Coleman. Um, 11, 13, 16, 18 is a ground ball to the shortstop. And a grounder to the shortstop is made. And quick throw over to first, and they get Coleman by half a step at first. And that'll be a 1-2-3 inning for the Royals. Royals are still up 8-3 to three as we head to the bottom of the fifth. Uh, Danny Bautista, Chad Curtis, and Scott Fletcher figure into this one. So it's going to be a full house, fives over threes. That's a double to left center field for Bautista. And he'll stand at second base with nobody out. Let's go ahead and bring in a, uh, a new pitcher. How about the guy who came into the game? It was uh, Brian Maxey. Who had a terrible fit. So he's going to be in the same position. Okay. So Maxi with a 572 FIP in 1995. He did uh, pitch 52 innings. That was really his. Um, that was really his only stint in the majors. Was that season? <clears throat> so we got a new pitcher, Brian Maxi. Moore goes uh, four innings, and he gives up. Um, Oh, I'm sorry. We got. Uh, we need to bring in. Well, we'll leave Maxi in. He'll be pitching for Detroit. Gubas is pitching well. We'll just leave him in the game. Um, double for Danny Bautista and nobody on. I mean, nobody out and one on for Chad Curtis. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Missing that four in there. And Curtis, let's see, that's going to be 12, 17, plus 5 is 22, and 22 will be a strikeout. So that's out number one. A runner at second base with Scott Fletcher coming to the plate. Fletcher is over 2. So we have a 2, 3, 4, 5, and that's going to be a small straight. That will also be a strikeout. So his Fletcher's first strike out of the day, and Gubza looks to try and strand the runner at second base. Uh, two threes, so that's four, ten, plus nine is 19, and that'll be a grounder to the third baseman. Uh, Fryman, or I'm sorry, uh, who is it? Gaetti takes a four of a kind for him to make an error. So that's going to be five, three, as Gaetti makes the put out. The Tigers get one on, but they cannot get them around. And so no runs on one hit, one left on. And we head to the top of the sixth inning. It'll be Goodwin, Lockhart, and Joyner now facing off against Brian Maxey. And it's five innings here. Gubas is still going strong for the Royals. And Brian Maxey, the new pitcher for the Tigers, he is not a money pitcher. So two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five is to Goodwin. It's going to be a strikeout. Goodwin with the two-run home run in his last at bat. Here right, comes Keith Lockhart to the plate. <clears throat> so that's ten plus nine is nineteen. Nineteen is grounder to the third baseman. Going to take a four of a kind for him to make an error. So Priming gets it over to first base. And <clears throat> Fielder squeezes it for out number two. It would be Wally Joyner uh, to the plate. So that's 9 plus 6 is 15, and that's 20. 20 is a grounder to the first baseman, and no error on the play. So 3-1 on the put out as he flips to the pitcher covering. So nobody on. And, I mean, uh, no runs on no hits. Nobody left on for the Royals in the top of the sixth inning. We head to the bottom. And for Detroit, it'll be the heart of the order. Cecil Fielder, Kirk Gibson, and Bobby Higginson. Fielder is one for two. He doubled in his last at bat and was stranded at third base. Here's a three, four, five, two, three, four, five. 
And because this fielder has a power number, he gets an opportunity to roll for the home run. So a one or a six, and Cecil Fielder goes yard. Oh, it is not. And so that's going to be a chance play. Or actually a strikeout. I'm sorry. It'll be a strikeout. So all or nothing swing. And Cecil Fielder goes down. But he had a chance. Here's Kurt Gibson. And that's a one, two, three. So nine, ten, fifteen is a fly ball to center field. No error on the play. So F8 on the put out, and Gibson is down for the second out. Two outs, and Bobby Higginson stands in in the bottom of the sixth. So that's going to be 10, 15, plus 5 is 20. Is a ground ball to the first baseman again. And no error on the play. And that will be Wally Joyner, who runs it to first himself. And that is 3 up, 3 down. For the Tigers. So no runs on no hits. Nobody left on. And we head to the top of the seventh inning. Still 8-3 to three, Kansas City. <clears throat> and uh, Brian Maxey will be facing Gary Gaetti, Bob Hamlin, and Joe Nunley. Nothing dramatic there. Just getting a drink of water. <clears throat> Three, four, five, six. That's going to be an opportunity for Gary Guy Eddy as he has a power number or a power rating. So for a power hitter on a small straight like this, he gets an opportunity to swing for the fences. And if it's two, it's gone. Otherwise, it's a strikeout. And it is a two. Look at that. So Gary Guy Eddy loads up and he is one deep to center field in Old Tiger Stadium. And that's going to be. Bomzola as he puts another run on the board. It's now nine to three. Kansas City over Detroit. Uh, brings up Bob Hamlin. Hamlin is one for three with a home run. <clears throat> Two, three, needed that five, but didn't get it. So ten plus seven plus uh, nine. Ten plus nine is nineteen. That'll be a grounder to the third baseman. It's going to require three of a kind, and we don't get it. So that's going to be a 5-3 on the put out. And that'll be out number one. One out for Joe Nunnally. Nobody on. That's a 3-4-5-6. And that will be a strikeout for Joe Nunnally, his first of the game. Uh, David Howard stands in. He is one for three with a single and a run scored. 3-4-5-6. That's going to be his third K. So the hat trick. For David Howard as he goes down but the Royals do get one in the seventh inning on the Gary Gaetti home run as he powered up <clears throat> using his power rating uh, so that's cool to see uh, it's going to be eight nine to three uh, Royals over Detroit let's see if Detroit has any uh, get up in these last few innings it's going to be Gomez Flaherty and Bautista so ten uh, plus 9 is 19. That's a grounder to third base. Going to require uh, 4 of a kind <clears throat> to retire him at third base or uh, to make an error. And we don't have that. So that's going to be a 5-3 on the put out. So Gaetti over to first makes the play. And that brings up John Flaherty. <clears throat> 10, 15, 21. That will be a strikeout of Flaherty. So that's out number two. And Danny Bautista, last hope in the seventh inning. He is two for two with a single and a double. And he came in on the Chad Curtis home run for a run. So nothing much going on here. That's going to be 9, 10, plus 4 is 14. That's a fly ball to the left fielder. Almost an error, but not quite. So that's a fly out to left. And that's going to be out number three. So three up, three down. Go the Royals. No runs on no hits. Nobody left on. And we head to the eighth inning. Nine to three is our game. The Royals are ahead. They'll have Brett Main 
the nine hole hitter and then we're back to the top of the order with Coleman and Goodwin. <clears throat> So one, two, three, twos and threes. So nothing there. Four, ten, eleven. So Brett Main is going to get on with an error. And I believe that's the third error of the day on Detroit. So sloppy fielding for the Tigers brings up Vince Coleman. Vince Coleman is one for three. Nothing here. So it's going to be five, seven. 9, 11, and back-to-back -back errors for Detroit. And the game is just getting away from them here. Let's see if they can stop the bleeding. Max Muncy, or <laughs> Max Muncy, Brian Maxey is in the game. And it's Tom Goodwin. Let's see if he can uh, get himself out with a double play. Doesn't look like it. That's going to be a single and an error check. No error on the play, but almost. <clears throat> almost a third consecutive error. So that's a single for a good one. Everybody moves up a base. And bases are now loaded for Keith Lockhart. Lockhart won for four on the day. And that's going to be a big hit. So here we see a sixes over fives. That's going to be a double. Uh, but it says that the runner is out at third, so <clears throat> or um, the batter's out at third, so that's going to be scores one, scores two, and scores three, and he gets a double and is thrown out trying to stretch it to a triple, so that's going to be out number one, but. Everybody else scores on the double. <clears throat> Bases clearing double for Keith Lockhart as he gets three RBIs. And that pushes the lead to 12 to 3. And things are getting real rough. Let's see if we can find a better pitcher for Detroit. See what they have for pitchers. Um, Mike Hanneman was really good for them. <clears throat> Pitched in 29 games. He had 18 saves. Let's just go ahead and bring him in just to stop the bleeding. So Hinneman is going to be a uh, pitcher who can at least help out <laughs> with the canceled die. So three runs already in in the inning and one out for Wally Joyner. And the new pitcher is uh, Hanneman. His name is Mike Hanneman. 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 All right, there is a three of a kind, and we, he'll get his chance here. So if he rolls a six, then that goes to a chance. And he doesn't, so he comes in and promptly walks the first man that he sees. And that's going to be, um, what's the pitcher here? So Wally Joyner at first base, one out for Gary Gaetti, who went bombs his last at bat. That's going to be 10, 13, uh, plus 5 is 18. 18 is going to be a, a ground ball to the shortstop, and the shortstop makes the play. Actually, um, we're looking for a double play there, aren't we? So we do get two pairs, so that's going to be able to play 6-4-3, and that will end the inning. So Henneman does come in and get the double play after allowing a walk, and that is it for the Royals, but... They put three more on the board, and they leave 12, lead 12-3. 12 to three. And we're back to the top of the order for the Tigers. And they are running out of outs. So Mark Gubas is still on the mound. Uh, That's 3, 5, 6, no, nothing there. So uh, 9, 10, plus 6 is 16. And that will be a fly ball to the right fielder. Right fielder makes the play. And Curtis is out for out number 1. Curtis now one for four. Uh, brings up Scott Fletcher, the second baseman. 
He's over three. Almost had a full house. So six, 12, 18. 18 is a grounder to the shortstop and the shortstop powered. So that's going to take a four of a kind. And Howard over to Wally Joyner is out number two. And that brings up Travis Fryman. Fryman is 0 for 3 with a strikeout. So 9, 10 plus 4 is 14. That will be a fly ball to left field. And that's caught by the left fielder. That's Coleman. For out number 3, 1, 2, 3. So Gubas are cruising in this one on his way to a complete game. Uh, one more chance here for the Royals. They're up 12 to 3, and it's going to be uh, Hamlin, Nunnally, and David Howard. So that's going to be 9, 18, 20. It's a grounder to the first baseman. And let's see, Cecil Fielder, he does make the play. So 3 1 on the put out, and brings up Joe Nunnally. Nunnally has scored one, but he hasn't gotten a hit yet. Uh, that's going to be 12, 15, 21, and 21 would be a, a K. And so that strikeout is out number two in the inning. It brings up David Howard. Almost the same roll. So 12, 22, 23. 23 is going to be a walk, though, as Howard gets on. And that'll be his first walk of the day. He's one for four with a single. And Brett Main stands in. Main is uh, one for three, and that's going to be 11, 13, <clears throat> um, 14, 15. So 11 plus four is 15. That will be a fly ball to dead central, and that's an error on the play. You see the full house there, and so we got an E. Eight this time, and Detroit is just spreading the errors out all over the place. Uh, so that moves up the runner, uh, Howard, to second. So runners at first and second with two outs, and Vince Coleman stands in. We have a three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six to someone who is not a power hitter is going to be a strikeout. So Vince Coleman strikes out in his sixth at bat of the day. And that will end it for the Royals as they come away with no runs on no hits. They do leave two on in the ninth inning and can't get them home. So we head to the last three outs uh, available to the Tigers. It's going to be Cecil Fielder, Kurt Gibson, and Bobby Higginson against the very strong Mark Gubaza. Cecil Fielder with a uh, three fours. That's going to be a single with an error check. Let's check the error on the play. No error. And so that's going to be a single. For Cecil Fielder, he is two for four in the game. Maybe a little rally here. And this is going to be a walk. So runners now at first and second against Mark Gubaza. As the Tigers try to mount something in the ninth inning. It's going to be Bobby Higginson to the plates. So that's 10, 12, 14 is a fly ball to the left fielder. No error on the play. So that'll be the first out of the inning. And one down with two on, and it's Chris Gomez to the plate. He is 0 for 3. And almost gets a big hit there, but not quite. So 6, 12, 13. 13 is a grounder to the shortstop, so we're going to play for the double play and they get it here and so that's going to be a 6-4-3 uh, game ending double play so that's out number two and out number three and that's all here in Detroit as the Royals crush the Tigers by a score of 8-9-12 to 3 Mark Gubaza pitches a complete game, uh, giving up only the three runs here in the third inning on the home run from Chad Curtis. And um, the Tigers just not faring so well 
<laughs> in the middle innings. Uh, but this is a tabletop baseball, a Yaya tabletop baseball. And uh, you can play this with uh, historical teams and write, rate them yourselves. Uh, these are just based off of 30 home runs for the power. A star hitter is anybody with 370 uh, Woba or better. And then the glove man is, um, if there's a stat on um, fangraphs.com, it's called defense. And that's uh, defensive runs above average. And if it's a 10 or greater, they get a glove man rating. Uh, but that's what we got here from Detroit. And Kansas City wins this one 12 to 3. Um, if you have any questions or comments about the game, uh, just put those in the comment section below and um, I'll see if I can get to them. <laughs> if I can, if you want to try uh, the game, you can email me at onbasebaseball at gmail.com and I will send the game out to you. I've actually rated the 2021 season so I can send that out to you as well as a part of the package and you can try that out I think in the next video uh, I'm going to play another game from 2021 just to uh, see how that goes all right I think that's what we got thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time